observe the etiquettes, and we are careful of how we speak and what we speak, and we are careful of what we listen to and what we act upon, <coughs> and how we act upon that which is conveyed to us. You know, number one, it may be false speech, and now you hear it and you act upon it. Then you under this hadith. Or you behave ignorantly as we mentioned in the previous hadith. Allah has no need that you leave your food and your drink. What does this mean? Honey, you just stay hungry and thirsty. This is not the purpose for, for fasting. That you stay hungry and thirsty. The purpose is that you may attain taqwa. So these etiquettes must be observed. Allah has no need of your hunger and your thirst. If you're not practicing taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal in fasting, Allah has no need of your hunger and your thirst. And this is unfortunately the very sad reality that many people will gain from the fasting of Ramadan only al wal atish only hunger and thirst. Only hunger and thirst. Many people. And they will gain from the qiyam of Ramadan only at ta'ab wa sahab. Only sleeplessness and, ta- and, and fatigue. It's all they gain from the night salah. Sleeplessness and fatigue. You see now some of the people salah. And it's salah which is not salah. Not salah. There is no doubt, wallahi, there is no doubt when I see it, there is no doubt in my mind that it is not accepted. No doubt in my mind. You giving that to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I have no doubt it is rejected. Yet you find that some of the masajid, people flock to it because at that masjid they make the fastest salah. Make the fastest salah. When you go and you listen, you cannot hear the Quran is reciting. He's blabbering things. You know, he's mixing up everything. His ruku is not fulfilled. His i'tidal is not fulfilled. Sujood is not nothing. Subhanallah, it is, it is amazing. People flock to those masajid. And in reality, they are wasting their time. They are wasting their time. They are from those who will gain from their qiyam in Ramadan only sleeplessness and fatigue. Oh, subhanallah, so what about still the person now during the day? The same person maybe. During the day, he indulges in false speech. Riba, namima, gossiping, false tales, baseless talks. He acts upon it, he behaves ignorantly. Then also from his siyam of Ramadan, he is only gaining hunger and thirst. What has that person benefited from Ramadan? He's benefited nothing from Ramadan, subhanallah. So the etiquettes of fasting is of utmost importance.